This is a LEGO minifigure and today I'm going to be building this LEGO rocket ship 8 times this size as well as a launch pad to actually launch it at the end of the video to see if you will survive a crash from more than 4.5 feet high. But before we can do that, we first need to build a rocket ship and using this simple model, the rocket ship would be divided into 3 main parts, the base, the body and the cone. So let's go ahead and build the body using these parts. Okay, now that we have all the parts we'll need, I'll use an octagonal plate with nothing in the center and then use some of these slanted bricks for the slanted sides. Then I'll just fill in the gaps with 2x5 bricks and we're done the first component. So let's just build this 5 more times and the fifth one with a full octagonal plate. Stack them all up and now we're done but we still need to build them. Next up, I'm going to be building the cone using a bunch of different types of white parts to recreate the perfect blue shape to go on top of the body. And now that that's done, we need to build the bottom of the base because even though we already have one, since our rocket can't use anything like hydrogen or liquid oxygen to propel our rocket, we'll need to use the next best thing at our disposal, rubber bands. And for that, we'll need something like this which can connect to the rubber bands but can also detach from the rocket ship which is for a very important reason I'll explain later in the video. So let's just add that too and now we're done the rocket ship. But before we can continue, I think it's time to explain why I'm even doing all of this. You see, a couple months ago, I started the minifig tournament where 10 minifigures had to try to survive 3 deadly machines. So after losing 9 participants to a bomb and a missile shooter, this guy was the only one left which means if he survives the rocket ship crash, he will get all of these prizes and win the tournament. But even though we have our rocket ship, we'll need a launch pad if we want to make it launch. To make the launch pad, I first started by loading the foundation so we can add support pillars. I then added a ring as well as some more support pillars and bricks to give it the final looks and stand needed to hold the rocket ship straight. I wanted to add some more details but I didn't really know what to, so I just added some grass and some barriers to finish the launch pad. Now remember when I said that this detachable base would be very useful? Well you see, when I did some tests I realized that if the base was still attached to the rocket ship and that one rubber band somehow was still connected to it mid-air, it would immediately bring it down and crashing it before it can even take off. But these parts will make it so that as soon as the rocket ship is released, it would detach the base from the rocket ship allowing it to keep going up. And to release the rocket ship, I added these two pins that will block it from releasing itself until I pull this rope. Alright, now that we're done building the launch pad, we can't just put our minifigure in the rocket ship since there's no part for it to stay in, so we're going to build him that. So I took this 4x6 plate and added two smaller plates on the sides, and then I built some controls by using this high tech computer, a lever, some buttons, and this random part I found. I then added a chair for him to sit on, along with these small types of doors that keep him in place. I also added a small pillow behind his head and finally added the walls and gave him a helmet before placing the roof. And finally, I placed it vertically in the rocket ship. And now that we built a working rocket ship and a launch pad, it was time to see if it will hit my ceiling and if it will survive the crash. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. As you saw, the rocket ship went so high that it hit my ceiling and then crashed on the edge of the launch pad. But what I really want to know is if he's still alive. So after opening it, you can see it took minimal damage but still looks perfectly fine. Which means he officially won the minifig tournament and keeps all of these prizes. Anyways, thank you so much for watching this video and please hit that subscribe button so I can keep making videos like these. And if you like explosions, well then you'll love this video. See you in the next one.